<laughs> okay, so I don't like this at all because well, there's many things wrong with it. Number one, to get this to fit in, this part broke. Uh, number two, these things are bent. Number three, there's this giant gap over here. Everything's over there. I thought I was okay with this, but then now looking at it, this this is too many things that are compromised. Now. I don't like this at all. I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do some upgrades. Now, the simplest way I think to fix all of this is the main problem is height. If the height could be fixed, everything else could work on some level. Because a lot of times what these things can't fit is because they're too squished this way. I don't know why that happened, but this I think is the key. Now if I release a little bit of stress on all the sides, I think it might help a little bit. So I'm gonna increase this diameter a little bit for all sides and hopefully that's gonna take away some of the problems over here. And if they're all equal, things are gonna go okay. I'm gonna take these legs, I'm gonna flip them upside down and use them the other way, and I'll just drill a hole manually on the other side. I think I could fix it. And lastly, I'm gonna increase the height on the bottom here by about, uh, what was it? So the height here that's different is give or take around five millimeters or so. I'm gonna give it around seven, just as a bonus couple of millimeters to hopefully make this part slide in and out a little bit better. First things first, since we're deciding to do this properly, I need to disassemble what I have here because that no longer flies well. I really want to compromise on this one. So I think this is the right way to go. I thought I could just get by with it, but I don't like that ideal anymore. So let's disassemble everything. I'm going to start from scratch. Let's work on this again. So first things first, this I think is actually really strong enough compared to some of the other stuff we're getting away with. So I think they're good here. The main problem is that they're still kind of being pushed in this way, which is not the greatest, I guess. But since they're all here, let me do a quick check here, just to make sure that they are all of the These are all the cut pieces. This one is taller than the other two. This should be symmetrical, 444, 440 by 440. They should all be the same length everywhere. And they are definitely not. This is as close as I can get them to be together. And even then there's some variation here and there. They're not even completely straight on this way either. So it turns out it's not really my fault that the enclosure kind of sucked. It's mainly because these things are a little bit off. I'm compensating for it basically on our end, which I don't like to do, but I guess you can't really do too much about that. Okay, cut the audio, basically we're back here, and turns out all of these are different measurements. So, the place I got them from uh, turns out not that great. Um, I don't know what else to say, but I told them specifically in my email to do 440 millimeters. So that's 44 C, 440, sorry, 44 cm basically. This is 44.5, this is 44.1. These ones are 44.5, 44.5, and then these ones are a variety of 44.3, 44.4. Basically, I have a very long side and a very short side. And now it makes sense why I'm seeing five extra millimeters on each of these approximately on all the corners. So it's not my fault things messed up, it's the place that I bought them from, which is problematic. And it's much more problematic 
I to figure out how to deal with these ones as well. So, how long are these ones? Yeah, this one isn't so bad. This one is 44.2. And over here we have, ideally this would be 220 millimeters. This is at least 225, so I'm 5 millimeters over on this side. This is not good, and I think I probably should have done more research when I was picking up a place to buy plexiglass from or a plexiglass vendor. I have 5mm in each of those ones, and I kind of broke this trying to force it in. I thought it was just the issues with this part going in properly, but no, it's actually because this is messed up. So I can't do too much about that at this point. Um, I just need to figure out how to work with this at this point. We do have a longer side and a shorter side. I think the fact that I made them a little taller kind of fixes the issue with the 44.5 problem. So I'm the upgrades I'm currently printing should elevate the bottom to make it work better. I'm not happy about it, but this is the only way I can really kind of move on from here. The lengthwise is a little bit better because a lot of these are kind of 0.1 or 0.3 or 0.4 off. That I think if I just squish this to the edge, we can probably get away with. But it's not ideal, and I did not like the idea of doing that basically either. But what can you really do at that point? And plus, it ruined my prototype already, part one, so I have to basically take these over. My new plan is uh, this part in the center, I'm just going to drill a hole for the, uh, this thing to properly go through it. And then we're going to use the bottom part basically for the other holes. And this time I'm going to make sure this is touching the bottom because I think this is probably the more important part. I do want this to be as stable as possible. The bottom ones, these things, the uh, little things that go inside to make it a little bit snug, it actually works really well. This is not moving at all basically. I think that should be fine. I'm not concerned about that. I think we're going to leave that as is. Like so I'm just going to push it on the side, maybe towards that side a bit more to maybe get a bit more out of it. I, uh, I probably should take measurements for these glass before I did the enclosure mark, um, evolution one essentially, but I don't know, that's just, that's just unfortunate, I guess you can say. But yeah. I put all of the, the plexiglass here and I aligned them because the longer side, there is apparently a longer side, even though it's supposed to be 440 every single way. The longer side is 445, 445, 445 millimeters. That one I put on this side. So that we're going to leave for the up and down. And then for the up and right, we're going to do the two symmetrical ones here. These two are 0.1 millimeter, uh, 0.1 centimeters off. This one is 43, this one is 44 millimeters, 444, 443. So these two are gonna go on the side because they match each other better. This one is actually the closest to what I actually wanted them to do, which is 404 D1, 441 millimeters. This one, since it's a little bit different than these ones, will have to go into the back. Not my choice, but like that. 445, the longer side is gonna go this way because now I've adjusted and compensated for their mistake and everything should align just a little bit better. This way. And at the very least, this part is now aligned because, like I said, this is supposed to be 440, but this is 441. So this is 0.1 millimeters off. And I switch this just, I'm currently printing something that's gonna sit right over here at around seven uh, seven millimeters essentially, and seven millimeters is what we're off by. We're technically we're off by five millimeters, but I'm getting seven just because I want them to have a little bit of give, and then that should fit here properly. When it fits here properly, the rest of this should go on proper, so we're fine with this one. In the meanwhile, what I need to do is I need to make sure that when this is perfectly aligned, that there is a screw that can go in there. 
I know those who are watching this are probably cringing on the fact that I'm working with wood stuff and there's like carpet behind me, but number one, I care very little about this carpet. Number two, I'm just so sick of this area. And number three, I don't have that great of a large space to work with. And if I work in the main area, Aslan, the cat, and I start to mess things up. So, yeah, you can hear me all in the back. I think this is a good. Once again, reiterating, I am not a handyman of any sort. Of any professional grade, I am just here as a hobbyist. Turns out the biggest problem I had with the enclosure making so far was the fact that I trusted Canada Plastics to be accurate about their makes, and unfortunately they weren't. Which, like I said, I'm not very happy about. But, what can you do, right? Alright, so for this one, let's go, and this is going to be meant to be the front, so let's learn from my mistakes, and then go from here, and then... Let's go back to that area. Uh, which one do I use? So this one. We're basically ready on all front. Just make sure that goes there. While we're here, why don't we work on the top filament holder? Because that is something I wanted to do. And to do that, I mean, I need to kind of decide this. This is about 10 inches, give or take. 11, 12. So that is 10.2 inches. Which we need to go 5.1. It is right. Oh gosh. Okay, this gives me a lot of anxiety because that's a very sharp point and I have never used something like this before. Tight, that is tight. I'm gonna hold on to it like that with my dear life. Um, shut that down. And then I guess I'll just hold it like this. And then I'll bring this down. Just do a little bit of cup like that. Hopefully, that'll be enough. First of all, this is turned off. Okay, that is turned off. This part is very scary to plug in. And now, uh...
Okay, okay. Off. Unplug. Holy... You know what? That will scare me. But, uh, we're done with that one. <laughs> a lump full of just plastic just now, which is not good. But, uh... There you go. Pillow instead. With extra base over there, but like I said, I don't really want to do too much cutting when I don't need to, so... And that was fine. I guess that wasn't so bad. I'll put you behind there and leave you there. Great. Now, while that was going on, we actually did just finish a new patch.